Hello everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Minecraft, another update for Wii U. Um, it's a really simple installation process, I know it's really a quality video, but uh, it's going to have to do, so <clears throat> first thing we're going to do is, assuming you've downloaded the actual program here I have a folder called release so you're gonna go ahead and extract all and set it to your desktop all right and extract don't try and open this uh, release file by itself or else you're gonna find you'll have problems running it um, the programs and uh, using the files because they're all um, compressed so this is going to extract and I'm going to go through this step by step it's really easy all right, So now that we've closed that out and you've gone in the description after you've gotten description the release folder right here you'll have three folders 101 D9 D00 program and SD card so we're gonna go ahead and 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 um, we're gonna go ahead and do the SD card part first. So all you have to do here is <clears throat> go to your SD card. Now, assuming you already have one, just a regular SD card, and most people probably don't have it formatted, so. Um, we need to format this, uh, I, I, I'm trying to find the format tab, I'm using an old version of Windows, uh, aha, alright, somewhere around here, alright, so, right here we have format, you don't have to change the capacity, uh, now, um, let me just check. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really... Alright, so... The file system... You're gonna go ahead and... You're gonna go ahead and uh, format this to FAT. Not NTFS FAT32 or XFAT. Those will not work. You're gonna do this and... Uh, you can label it. Now when you format, uh, make sure you disable quick format. Uh, and then you click... For start here and then it'll uh, format your SD card and you need to have it in fat file system so I've already I don't need to do this as you should see I already have it formatted so right here folder is empty so where we're gonna go is to our release folder you're gonna see a SD card you see Wii U right here so go ahead and copy this and this is everything you need for accessing homebrew launcher and uh and uh ftp client um so that's done so we don't have to do any more of this anymore um so next segment is uh this program here and this is what we're using to actually transfer everything so as you can see it's already installed uh, if you don't want to use this one because you're like, oh, it's malware, then you can just go find WinSCP anywhere. So I'm pretty sure that should run for you. Uh, not generally sure. So now we're going to go ahead and go to, go ahead and take our SD card out. Now that we have FTP, uh, WinSCP open. So take your SD card right here and again this is the one I'm using it's just a regular 2 gigabyte SD card so go ahead and go to your Wii U and in there alright I have it upside down alright so don't do what I just did just click it in there if you know how to do it quick so this is where life gets easier at this point oh actually the hard ports coming up so we just did the easiest. So you're gonna wanna go to whichever account you wanna use. Now, when we do this, this is very specific. 
So go to your internet browser and um, first we have to do some things here. Um, so we need to go to the start page, settings, and reset save data. And you're going to see it on the gamepad. You're going to want to reset the save data here. So let me just go back because I thought it would come up on the screen. So we're going to go to start page, settings, reset save data. And you're going to click reset. I don't need to do it because I got stuff on here that I want to keep. But I'm good to go. So once you've reset the save data, it's going to, you're going to want to turn your Wii U off. Obviously, I don't need to because I already have everything set up. There's a reason why. Because if you've gone to too many websites or watched videos, uh, it's gonna it's gonna hurt your chances of being able to access the actual thing because it's a it's a technical thing. So now we're gonna go to a website, loading.ovh, and uh, here it is. Uh, if you want to automate it each time if there's an update to this mod pack or you want to do anything with your mods and then just click submit and it's gonna run the payload now a uh, quick tip cl op open the uh, curtain at all times you do it by pressing X so make sure you have the curtain open if you don't have it open it's not gonna work so um, as you can see it worked because I had the curtain open, a lot of people have problems accessing it because they don't open the curtain thing. So as you can see here, there's the two programs I've already put on here. You see, because I was in the SD card folder, so you really don't have to do any guesswork. You just have to follow the tutorial. So we're gonna run Mocha first, and then after that, um, we're gonna go to FTP everywhere. And make sure you run Mocha first, because if you don't, you're going to corrupt your game data. And uh, so, here we are. Here you're going to see the client side here. That's what the FTP program is for, because that's what you're going to actually use to transfer data. So as you can see, right here is your IP address. Mine is 192.168.1.7. So, um, we're going to go ahead and go to the program here. And what we're going to do is the host name is going to be the IP address that it designates on our network. Uh, I'm going to just uh, right here. So 192.168.1.7. And that's our IP address. And the port number is 21. So you're going to click down on the port number. Uh, it's got to be 21. And anonymous login. So your setup should look like this. You got your IP address that your network designated. And then you have your port number. And then you have the anonymous login. So it's super duper easy. So just go ahead and log in. And here we are. This is the root folder. So I just want to uh, get something out of the way because uh, this can uh, actually destroy your Wii U here. So, right side is your Wii U, left side is your PC. So, this is where we're going to use to tr actually transfer. This is where we're going to use to tell it where to go to. Now, do be very cautious. Do not screw around. You can destroy your Wii U. So, um,. Let me just figure out where I gotta go first. Uh, I haven't done this in a while. Okay, so you're gonna want to go to storage underscore MLC. You go to user. We go to title and remember, do not screw around with everything else. Zero 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 five zero zero E, right there, and you can see one hundred one D nine D zero zero. So now we're gonna go to our desktop. Um. All right, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go to release, and you see right here 101 D9 D00. Now, um, you probably be like, oh, well, let me just drag this over here and be a jackass. No, we're gonna go ahead and do these one by one, or else you're gonna actually uh, corrupt your game. 
Uh, so we're gonna go to content and uh, we're gonna do the same thing here content and we're just gonna whatever we see here we're gonna do over here so we're just gonna do it in order so we're gonna go to common and then media and then we're gonna go to common and then media so you're gonna see there's less folders in here because this is all this is what's in the mod pack we're replacing we're not replacing the whole game so as you see here um, here is a file so you might be wondering how do I install this do I just go and delete this and then install this no do not do that if you delete any files you're gonna corrupt your game immediately and you'll have to reinstall the update data so do not do that please do not alright because that's the number one thing so what we do is we click you see how I, I do this look I click and hold on the object so if I click and hold on the object and move it look I can transfer it over to this side which is right left side PC right sides my Wii U so I can drag and drop now of course uh, I don't need to do this but there's gonna be a prompt that asks you hey do you want to replace this file go ahead and click yes I don't need to do this because it's a big file and I've already installed everything but just to give you an idea you need to do that so next file we're gonna go to so you're gonna want to pause each time you go through a file and and because it takes a while you gotta wait so we're gonna go to res title update res again and this one's gonna get real redundant skip all this guys go to title update go to res and you can see how we have less on this side because we got to replace. So, do not input folders. You're going to break your game, okay? So, we're going to click on art. And we're going to click on art over here. We're going to take KZ. We're going to take KZ over here. And we're going to drag and drop. And it'll look like that. You'll have a prompt to say, hey, hey there, potent soldier. you got to replace it. So, go ahead and replace it. So, environment environment now um i think you should get the idea to drag and drop and drag and drop do not delete anything but i am going to go through the folders i'm not going to keep i'm not going to reinstall everything because i don't need to do it i'm just going to you just pause each time each file so i'm just going to tell you so you take thermal 2 over to environment here and make sure you go in the actual folder and you make sure that the actual file we're putting here is actually here. So, and then the next folder, font, font, drag and drop over here. And then we go to item, item. Alright, so armor stand, we're going to drag, drop into this folder. And uh, I know it might be confusing, but yeah. And then banner here. Take this, pop that in there. I'm not. I know I'm not doing it. Uh, I'm kind of lazy. I could do it, but it'll take forever. These guys pop over here. Conduit. Take these guys. Just you can drag all of them. Actually, you can drag all the files that you see. You don't have to do them one by one by one. If you see a row of files in the same folder, as long as it's not the direct, the actual folder taken, you can just drag and drop in here and it'll replace all of them for you. And uh, right here, I'm gonna take up to here. Do not take folders. Take up to these files here. Up to where bed is and drag and drop. We're not gonna do that for me, but for you, you're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, so misc, it misc, misc is the next guy here. So we're gonna go to misc. We're gonna take these two guys here together, and pop those over there, and then we're gonna go. And this is really redundant, but uh, these are how you install the mod pack. Just updating the stuff. So bear, and we just take bear, polar bear over here. And then next part is Ender Dragon. So we're going to take this pile, file over to that file. Fish. There's a lot in here. Again, when you see a row, a, 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 a folder with multiple items, you can go ahead and drag all of these 
into their respected folder. So right here is where fish is. Make sure that you are putting these in the correct folder. Um, horse. We're going to start with armor on this guy. We're going to take these guys over to armor on this side. Pop those in there. You're good to go. Pop these guys into here. And you're good to go with that. Illager is the next folder. You're going to pop these guys over here on that side. And again, uh, I'm pretty sure by now you should get how you drag and drop. I'm sure anyone knows how to do that. Take all these guys, pop them over to decor. See where we are. We're at llama decor. Take llama decor. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna take these guys and drag them over here. All right. So just just remember, I'm not doing it because I've already installed this. I don't need to reinstall everything and take ten hours to do this. Pop these guys over here. Again, just in case you're not understanding, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when you actually pop it in there. See, See there you go. Popping. <clears throat> Alright, now Shoker. Shulk. Take these two guys over here. Skeleton. We're gonna go to Skeleton. Take these two over there. And just keep popping them in. Just keep popping them. Pop them in there. Zombie. I'm going to take the zombie files over here. So, uh, zombie villager. Take the zombie villager files over here. Alright, and now... Now we've gone through all the directories and we take plucked every file into their proper place remember got to go individually in the hierarchical thing so now we have these guys we pop these over here and they'll send them of course I don't need to do that so now we go to textures on this side we go to textures on that side and we're gonna go to blocks here let's see where this takes us right here so we're gonna transfer all these guys into right here in the blocks make sure again you have the exact directory if you see files that aren't on the mod pack that's for a reason um, uh, now you're gonna see a title folder um, you don't need to transfer this file. Uh, this is uh, unused. Uh, as you can see, this wasn't going to load anyway. This was a test thing. So do not transfer title at all. Don't don't transfer title, please. Now we have items, particles. Um, we're going to go ahead and take these guys over here. Remember, I don't have to do it. You do. So now we finished res. So we finished these guys. So now we go to music. Um, actually, no. You don't go to music. Music is not what we do. Let's see, we don't have that here. We have Wii U. Um, so I'm going to go to Wii U. And this is the part that's going to take a lot of time to install. Because look at how much... Uh, all the stuff we got going on these here is all your skin packs so and a lot of these are going to replace skin packs so if there's a skin pack you happen to buy if you bought any dlc from here and if you bought any dlc in here except for the battle mode maps the, and the mario pack then go ahead and not replace them if there's any skin packs you bought and you want to keep them because this is going to replace them so go to DLC on this side. Remember, do not transfer the folders. Transfer the individual files. So we're going to transfer texture pack here, texture pack there. We're going to go to data. Pop these guys in here. I know there's a bunch of stuff here, but it's just one here. Um, it looks scary, but it's actually like nothing. Take Battle and Beast over to Battle and Beast. All right. 
Battle of Beast 2, over to Battle of Beast 2, and so on and so forth, but I'm gonna keep going through, uh, now World Pack goes right there, we have the data, and you gotta transfer each and every one of these guys over to there, same with Battle Map Pack 1, transfer here to there, get that, all these guys, remember each individually. Now, I think by now, I think I've stressed enough that you have to go and click in and drag each individual file on both sides. So as long as you ensure that you do this, keep going back and forth, you're pretty much done. So that's that, That's pretty much it. Uh, at that point, we just transfer the lobby file over the lobby, tutorial file over the tutorial, and you're done. But remember, drag drop bam and then it's going to send the files it's going to take about it's going to i'd say it's going to take about an hour and a half to actually complete the installation process so once you've done that um go ahead once you've finished the installation process and i know i'm skipping around a lot but you know what i think you'll get the gist of it so we're going to tap here we're going to press the home button uh, this is after you're done installing all the files. Press the home button. You're going to find yourself here. Press the home button again. Now this is crucial. When you're in Me Maker, do not go to the Wii U menu and do not open the game or else you're going to corrupt your game. So go ahead and just shut it off. Don't print, hold the button four seconds. Press the button one time. Screen's gonna go black, and you're gonna see this is gonna stay for as long as you. It's just writing the actual data. Of course, I wasn't doing anything, so it's quick. So go ahead and turn your Wii U back on, and if you've installed everything correctly, then you're gonna have your updated game. So obviously, my end, I didn't change anything because I'm I. I think you get the gist of it. You're the one that's actually supposed to install everything. I've already done it. Hold on, so time, so... Scroll in your game. Alright, go at, go on to Minecraft. No, uh, your, your, your side of the game is not gonna have this, because I didn't know if I could include it or not. Because, uh... Because I don't know if it would function on other people's games. I, nobody told me if I can do that. I had to ask around. So you're going to see right here, first first thing that's been changed is a new startup screen. And uh, you're going to find some things pretty interesting pretty quickly. First of all, look at uh, the graphics are different. New skins, tons of new skins. Okay, and we have the what's new sections. This is what's all been added. An ID database here, and this has a database of a bunch of IDs, about 500. So, if you don't have anybody to add, then look in this list and maybe there's somebody on. Um, we have a new achievement. But, probably the main attraction in my room is this. Look at that. New map. Code, brand new map included in the mod pack. If you've installed it properly, it will function. So I just want to teach y'all something real quick. So if you set the game to custom, map size, alternate loads, the new maps, and the small ones, but if you want to load. So the main attraction you're probably looking for is, let me see, amplified is down here once you've installed everything playing the lure update feature and uh, 
This is basically your, uh, essentially this is your uh, gateway to the uh, new version of the game, pretty much. And, uh, see uh, well all the new textures uh, all that's been updated now as you can see all the new textures are in here when you go through here there's a couple of blocks as you can see there's a new block there's a couple new items so uh, that's pretty much how you install Update for Wii Mod Pack. It's pretty simple. It's just kind of rinse, wash, repeat as if it went to get the formula straight. So that's it. This is the Mod Pack, and uh, if you, uh, if this tutorial helped you, uh, let me know in the comments and maybe include your Nintendo Network ID so we can all friend each other and play in the Mod Pack. But also. Um, uh, don't forget to subscribe for further updates and um, um, if there's any problems you have or if you need any help uh, go in the comments and I'll personally personally answer any questions and troubleshoot with you but uh, without the, uh, that's it uh, this is the uh, tutorial and uh, hope you enjoy the mod pack bye